This video is highlighting the good deals on offer this Black Friday for digital artists and 3D artists alike. I'll also be looking at some bad aspects of Black Friday and things you should be aware of. As you can imagine, Black Friday is a great opportunity to pick up some kit, courses and asset packs for a pretty good discount. However, it's not always as good as it sounds. But before I start, one quick word on Black Friday. I would recommend not buying unless you actually have a particular project you need the assets for, or a particular interest in that course that you've been maybe looking forward to buying, or a particular need for the piece of kit, such as a PC, laptop, or whatever it might be. And don't be pressured into getting these things just because they're on sale. Try not to get wound up with the hype, and really analyze whether it's something you actually need. Now all the links and the coupon codes you need that are mentioned in this video are in the description and some are affiliated. So it does help me, but it's not that many of them. This is meant to be an informative video rather than any kind of advert. I've also put this video into chapters to make it easier to navigate. So let's start with kit. So laptops, PCs, monitors, and so forth. Often trying to get significant discounts on kit can be quite tough. I had a look at a few deals for PCs and laptops, and I was particularly unimpressed. The prices supposedly reduced by about 20%, but in reality, when you look at the components and do some comparison, it's just not a real reduction. In fact, which, a consumer investigation group, did an investigation into Black Friday deals. And in 2020, they found that 98% of the discounts advertised were available for the same price or cheaper in the six months after the sales. 85% of the items had also been the same price or cheaper in the six months before Black Friday. Only three of the 119 products that they tracked, that's only 1%, were at their very cheapest price on Black Friday. And that's important to bear in mind, particularly when it comes to hardware. I think the major problem is that PC and laptop builders have found this year particularly difficult. Graphics card prices are sky high and supply chain issues around the world may also be having an effect. So generally do a bit of comparison and research on anything you're thinking of buying when it comes to hardware and do be aware of these facts. So are there actually any good deals out there? Well, I did find some good deals on things like graphics tablets, XP Pen and Huion. Both have good sales with up to 30%. You will need to go directly to their sites and not through places like Amazon to pick those up because a lot of the time the discounts aren't passed on. Wacom, the leading brand, do have a sale as well. Their products are very expensive, but they are on discount, so well worth a look. XP Pen are my favorite. I use the Artist 24 and that's got 30% off at the moment. If you're looking for a cheap basic pen tablet, the XP Pen Star 3 is one of the cheapest that you can find. Where you can find good deals on Black Friday are things like courses, asset packs, add-ons, and general digital products that you have to download. So let's start with asset packs and start with the big ones. The Unity Asset Store has what they are calling a lightning sale at the moment. Now it is good, but it's a clever technique to make their products seem scarce. So certain assets and items are at a big discount, but only a limited number. It's obviously meant to put you under pressure to buy, so please only buy things that you will use and will benefit you. Nevertheless, there still seem to be some good bargains available. Unreal also have a sale with up to 70% off. They've not done anything gimmicky, so it's just a simple sale on items. You can also find some add-ons and assets on places like Blender Market. They've got 25% off over the weekend till Monday. There's lots of great asset packs and tools, and I'll talk about some of their courses in a moment. One of my favorites is Retopo Flow. That's a great retopology tool. Curtis Holt also has things like Bygen on there and loads of other useful add-ons. I think he's doing a 50% off, so look out for that. It's also worth having a search on Gumroad, as there's lots of independent people on there with cheap add-ons. As an example of things you can find, Just Things 3D has a lovely tile kit. Things like this aren't generally that expensive anyway, but you can get a nice reduction, especially if you're buying lots, it does add up. So there's some fantastic deals on assets out there, and it definitely is a good time to buy these things. Just try not to go overboard with things you don't really need. How about courses and training? A wise man once said, invest in yourself, and Black Friday is a good time to do that. I am a big fan of courses you actually pay for. I think it's the most efficient way to learn. Not that you have to do it that way, but it does make your life a lot easier. And Black Friday is certainly a good time 
to pick up some courses. It is worth pointing out that whilst all the reductions I mention here are genuine, some course providers will offer similar discounts throughout the year, so you don't have to panic buy on Black Friday. I'll point those ones out as I go, but most of your favorite instructors will be offering great deals at this time. Now, of course, I'm going to start with Game Dev TV, and here comes my quick advert for my stuff. If you don't know, I partner with Game Dev TV to sell my courses, and all their courses, Unity, Unreal, Blender, are all $10 at the moment. You can also get bundles of courses for even cheaper. What's good about Game Dev TV is they offer a lot of support with the courses, with things like teaching assistance, so you should rarely get stuck, and that's one of their mottos or slogans. And with most courses, you get access to any updates. I've got my low poly character course on there and character modeling, game art, and lots more. It's particularly suited to beginners and intermediate levels, but there's plenty of advanced stuff on there as well. Now, in fairness, Game Dev TV do offer good discounts similar to this throughout the year at different times. However, they've never done bundles before and they sound particularly cheap. Getting the courses for under $10 within a bundle seems really good. So do check them out. Now, Blender Market not only has asset packs and add-ons, but lots of courses as well. And here's a list of a few I can certainly recommend. Creative Shrimp, so that's Gleb Alexandrov, A.D. Burrows and his team. I'm a massive fan of their courses. They're all under the Blender Market discount. I recently reviewed their Create Stylized Art in Blender course and loved it. So that's a really good one. You might have heard of Erendale. They've teamed up with CG Masters on Blender Market. They do procedural node type stuff. It's really in depth with lots of detail, so I can recommend them as well. CG Cookie has lots of their full courses on there. Their stuff is excellent and really high quality. Blender Bros, they're hard surface experts. They're on there too, although they have a bigger discount on their own site, which takes you to their Gumroad store, and you can get bundles there of up to 50%. So it's certainly worth looking at their site instead of Blender Market. The great thing about Blender Market is that they do give some percentage to the Blender Foundation, which goes into developing Blender. So it's worth bearing that in mind. Other courses away from Blender Market, you've got people like Polygon Runway. They're offering a 50% discount on their site. Their courses are more expensive, but it is a large discount. So if you've been interested in their courses, it's well worth taking a look. There are also big sites like Udemy. They have some great price courses, but do be a bit careful as some of their courses aren't fantastic. So just make sure you're aware of the course creator, read the comments and reviews, and also be aware that they do offer similar sales throughout the year. Not quite as good as Black Friday, but again, you don't have to rush to buy these things. I've also reviewed a few courses on Yahoo, also known as Wingfox. They're high price course, but often from industry experts. I quite like their courses, but I really don't like their platform for usability but they are offering a discount of 30%. Again, they're another one that does offer sales throughout the year, but once again, the Black Friday deals seem that little bit better and just a bit more of a discount. There's also CG Cookie, which is a subscription-based site. They're offering 25% off membership, and like I say, their content is fantastic. I really do quite like that deal if you like that sort of subscription model and you're going to make the most of it. So there's lots of courses there. And like I say, Black Friday is a really good time for courses and there does look like some good deals to be had there. Now we've also got software. Blender is on sale at the moment with 100% off. So do go onto blender.org and download the latest content. Not such a good deal, but actually sounds pretty good. Adobe Creative Cloud is offering up to 30% off. I'm not a big fan of Adobe, but they do do quite a good job and I do kind of have to use their products and it's a pretty good discount, so well worth knowing about. Speaking of Adobe, Substance Painter, which has a subscription license, is actually available on Steam on sale at the moment for £120 for a perpetual license. With that, you'll get any updates for this year. Then you can keep using the program after that, but the updates cease which could of course be a problem if you have to work with someone who's using the updated version and it's not backwards compatible. So do be aware of those sort of things and do look at the comments to see what people are saying about that. So that's my rundown of Black Friday. Hopefully that's helpful to you. Again, I want to stress only buy these things if you feel you need them or you've been looking out for them, maybe waiting for them. Don't feel pressured into buying things just because there's a reduction. Lastly, thanks for watching and I hope this helps. See you next time.